What's up, VC? We're gonna do a quick unboxing. Um, there's some vinyl. All the vinyl threads are cool. I've been lagging on participating, but there's uh, one of there's one more we're mentioning some of the vinyl channels that uh, we want to mention. And you gotta pick three. So don't worry. That's coming up next. And I know what three channels I want to mention. And uh, and if you're if vinyl makes you happy and you you know you you're passionate about it, as long as it makes you happy. And, uh, and you're trying to be a good person, I love your channel. Um, if you're trying to be a dick and you're over competitive, I might watch your channel. I don't know if I want to hang out with you. <laughs> but anyways, let's go for it. Whatever makes you happy, guys. So let's see what's in this box. Vinyl obviously makes us happy, so that's super awesome. I want to... Uh, Let's just talk about one channel I enjoy watching. Um, a to Z Music Haven was playing some piano. Right on, Craig enjoyed that. It's a cool song you picked. You know, I mean, what's up? You guys got some uh, musical abilities? Throw them up, man. You know, I did wasn't. You know, I wanted to kind of keep this separate from the music, but then um, me, myself, and my vinyl kind of was like, man, we want to fucking. Well, you, well, you kind of called me out of my band, so you know, played some guitar for you guys. And like I always say, whoever's having the most Hey get back my dog's trying to chew his box, literally. Like my like my the way I see it, whoever's having the most fun with their instrument That's that's the best musician. You know what I mean? So that's what I think it's about. In the olden days not the olden days, but when I was a little kid in the eighties, guitar players were ruthless. They didn't want to show you the licks. This is how cutthroat it was, because I was raised in a musician house. Um, guitar players said when they would do certain licks on stage, they would turn the guitar away from the crowd. So if there's any guitar players in the crowd, they couldn't see what they were doing exactly. Oh, this came really fast. Oh, wow. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. So, I kind of came from the air. Me and my younger friends who were seeing that. And the way we were learning was by sharing the music skill, you know, the, uh, the things we had learned from however, from Tabitha or another friend, our guitar teacher. So, um, so either way, it's about sharing the wealth, not hogging it. You know what I mean, metaphorically speaking. Like sometimes you need to hog the top ramen in the spam. I get that, I get that. But not the music. All right. Wow, they really they wrapped it up. They had the bubble wrap. I like I like the this is making it a little it's like I'm getting some lingerie sent to me. <laughs> I feel special. <laughs> All right. Here it is. Here's my lingerie. Uh, oh wow, this is so okay. I swear I found this on Etsy and this came really fast. I don't, so, anyways, this is John Abercrombie, Cro John Abercrombie, timeless, and it's got John Hammer, Jack Dejanet, um, yeah, what else can I say? I really didn't know about this album. But it came through, um, some, gosh, I think somebody, somebody might have mentioned the name. Anyways, it, I'm going through this ECM, well, one of my albums I love that I have multiple copies of is, um, Pat Metheny's Off Ramp. It's on, so like, Pat Metheny's Off Ramp. I'm getting excited here. I have three copies of that album. I have, a, I have two German pressings and I have an American pressing. Uh, I love that album. I love all that Pat Metheny that's on ECM. Um, as Wichita Falls, I love that album. Crazy good. Uh, Watercolors, crazy good. All ECM, right? Gary Burton Quintet, ECM. Well, then a while back, um, Stuff Rock Confusion did a video showing some ECM stuff. He showed some kits, some some albums that are fire that actually 
My dog's trying to get in the garbage, or get into the stuff. Hey, get back, come on. So, uh, then some I hadn't heard of yet. Everything, what, it seemed like everything he showed under the ECM, super good. So it got, so I started putting in, I just started, you know I mean, listening to my Pat Metheny, I forgot. Well, I didn't forget, around Christmas time I had just gotten my 180 gram copy from Germany. But I thought it was strange that, you know, he showed this ECM stuff, I'm heavily influenced by some of the stuff that's already off of ECM. But then I'm realizing there's a lot of other stuff on the ECM label that I don't have still, and uh, that I haven't even heard of. So go check that channel, go check out that episode on his channel. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a really good episode. But uh, usually they have, yes. And this is a German pressing also. Nice. And it seems like the ones from Germany have the shinier cover sometimes, and um, the vinyl sticker. It's more like a one, not all of them, but the majority of the ones I have from Germany have a, like a like a 180 gram vibe to them. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put this on. The label is usually a little darker green too. Well, some sometimes it varies from green to kind of a bluish. Nice, good. That Jack DeJeanette solo album, that one has like the damn smoothest edges ever smelt on an ECM album. And, uh, but it's warped just a tiny bit, not bad. It still plays great. I'm gonna go with the edges on this one, 6.8. So, all right guys, just doing a quick unboxing. I gotta, um, wanna f give, uh, do the video with the shout outs. And the whole thing about, you know, just be some, you know, I think most of the people in the VC are very supportive and um, so far all the are oh, great really you just see what I did right so so the whole thing um, Chris Profi did this episode where it's you give so I'm gonna that's gonna be my next episode where you would pick three channels to give a shout out to but the whole thing is you know it to your you know always be supportive you know what I mean that's that whole thing uh Mother Teresa has a quote, and I like this quote. I don't know if it leads to which to being supportive, but she says, if you uh, can't feed a hundred, feed one person. Something along the lines of that. So, you know what I mean? I like that. Like, you mean, you, if you can feed a hundred, feed a hundred. That's, you know, knuckles. But either way, be supportive. You know what I mean? That just goes, that's a good thing in life. Um, you know, throw some of the likes, go throw some comments every now, you know, just Go subscribe to some, you know, it's the channel you're vibing. Go subscribe. There's a lot of, you know, I'm probably subscribed to like, I'm estimating here, guesstimating, 80, maybe so channel. And there's plenty more, I'm sure. So, um, I'm going to keep supporting the scene. What's up? So, um, I got a gig tonight in Austin. Super thankful with the Joe Allen band. And then tomorrow, afternoon I'm playing with my blues band outside of Austin so uh, uh you can listen to this music and get all pumped up I'm trying to keep myself calm here As you guys already know this coffee actually this is this is a French roast decaffeinated <laughs> and I don't you know I don't think it makes a difference but it does for some people you know some people like they're like a decaffeinated what the hell but uh, and then when I was playing in the background some of you probably probably could already pick it out, but Jay Dilla's Donuts, great album. This isn't the original album. This is a reissue. This isn't the original cover. Still really great cover. It's um, it's two albums. It would have been cool if it was a gateful because it's two albums. But Jay Dilla was an amazing producer. They show his record collection, and you just go on YouTube and check out Jay Dilla's collection. They um, he doesn't get to show it it's after he's passed away. And his mom's talking about his record collection. And, these these DJ you know he was a producer, but they were trying to find like the ultimate beat. But they loved music also. But the hunt for the ultimate beat was vicious. You know, this the, just hearing some of these stories was cracking me up about uh, trying to you know get there before your other friends so you can get you know the 
get that secret album. And what's cool, one of the episodes I was watching, I can't remember which music, what producer it was, he uh, he pulled out an ECM. And he it was uh, Eberhard Weber. And he was he knew because he liked some horns, some trippy horns. He knew, he knew exactly what it was. And, you know, he's just pulling random stuff out of his collection. B way big numbers, though. These guys were throwing out numbers in their collection. And, he, all right, even... <laughs> I don't think they were over exaggerating. Even if they were, even if you cut the number in half, it was real crazy. But no, nah, like I've seen the Quest Loves collection he was showing straight insane. And and now those guys some of these guys have made big money off of you know, so they they had a bigger budget than most, you know what I mean? Which is but it's so killer that they just were like <laughs> spend ten thousand. But all the profit they made off of one song that a beat they had sold and then go spend all of that on vinyl. So uh I, if yeah, you know, and they said one beat made a song. You could try, you know, of course, you're trying to find some more. So that's so awesome. So, anyways, later, guys. Stay positive. Play lots of vinyl. Go support all the VC and uh, check out my next video where I'm gonna give my shout out, uh, shout outs to three channels. Later, guys. Bye.